Hello and welcome children to your arithmetic practice for this week. So we know how much you enjoy your arithmetic practice and today you have 15 questions that you will need to complete. As always, please make sure that you remember everything that we've taught you since you've been in year two and even the things that you learned in year one because they may come up on today's little quiz okay and it's really important to remember those skills in your uh, place value so looking at the position of a number within a two digit or a three digit number and deciding whether they are in the tens or the ones for example and then also looking at the idea of addition and subtraction and knowing that they are the inverse of each other and you can use the answer to take away a part and then that will help you to solve missing number problems um, and also that idea of fractions as well so remember when we're halving something we're splitting the number in half or dividing it into two equal parts and when we quarter something we split it in half and then we half it again and split it into four equal parts okay so there's lots of things that you're going to need to remember for today's arithmetic practice now on the next slide i'm going to be giving you some top tips before you begin today's arithmetic practice okay so listen carefully everybody Okay, children, you know that I am very, very kind to you all. So I thought that I would just come on and give you an extra bonus slide today to um, give you a few top tips for completing your arithmetic. Because I know that it's been a little bit of time since we've seen some of these things. Okay, so let's have a look at question number one. So in question what, number one, it's asking us a place value kind of question, isn't it? It's got a two digit number, 74, and it's asking us to work out what the value of the seven is in 74. So I want you to think about what the seven is actually worth. If we were to split 74 into our tens and our ones, what would the seven be worth? Would it be worth seven or would it be worth something else? Because remember, it's in our tens column and the four. We don't really need to worry about the four because there's only the seven that's underlined. So the question's asking us to work out the value or the worth of the seven in 74. So remember, think of our place value chart and think about where it's positioned in the two digit number. OK, and that should help you with that first one. OK, um, this one down here. Let's have a look at this one. So it's asking us to find one quarter of 24. So it's asking us, isn't it, to half 24 and half it again to find one quarter. And remember how we could do this? We could use our circle method where we put 24 in the middle, don't we? Sorry about my dodgy drawing. And then we half it and half of 24 is and then we half that number to find one of our quarters. So remember, you could use that method to help you in solving your one quarter of 24. Or you could simply split, split this lovely picture into half and then half again, can't you? OK, and down here, another top tip, this one, number five. You've got to write the next numbers in the pattern. Well, what do we notice, first of all, about the numbers? All of these numbers, the ones numbers, they've all got something in common. They are all four, aren't they? And you've got to notice what's happening with the pattern each time in the tens. It's got a 10 and it's got a 20, 30, 40, 50. Ooh, I wonder what the pattern is going to happen to the next two numbers in that one. Have a little think about that one, see if you can work it out. Um, let's have a look for some more. Ooh, when we get to this one, double 45. Remember, if we're doubling a two digit number, I'll do an example of a different number. Uh, so say we're doubling 42, for example. We would double the 41st. Well, if I know double four is eight, then I know double 40 is 
80 because it's in my tens column. And then if I know double two, then I know what double two is. It's four. So the answer would be 84, okay? Because when we're doubling, we just double our tens first and then our ones, okay? So think about, that's not the answer to that question, but it's a little top tip to help you with working out double 45, because I know that that might be very, very tricky to do, to calculate mentally. Um, down here, we've got a more than, less than, equal to kind of question. So remember, we've got to work out how many, oh, sorry, this is a completely different one, isn't it? It's saying what number is five less than 70. So if you were on 70 and you counted back five, what would the answer be? So maybe you could use your multiples of five to help you with that one. Um, and this is the one I was talking about earlier because this one here uh, uses our more than, less than, equal to symbols. And remember, if it is open, on, it's always open on the biggest number. So the number that is more than the other number, so 34 is more than 30, it's open towards that bigger number, isn't it, okay? So it's open on the greatest number, all right? So I've given you some top tips there, so hopefully they will help you whilst you're working through independently your arithmetic for today. So good luck, children. I hope you all get on okay. I know how much you enjoy your arithmetic practice, and I cannot wait to hear and see how you got on later on. Have fun, everybody, and I shall see you very, very soon for another video. Bye-bye.